Welcome back to the baby. Hey. Welcome back to the Basement Yard Patreon. How you doing, Frank? <laughs> why did we, why did you start like that? I don't know. I was full on ready for you to. Two things. One, yes. Just farted. Two, and it's traveled up my my sweater, and it smells like a pumpkin. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of impressive. Usually, I fart like that around people October. Would, people would pay for that. What a fart! Uh, your farts. You people. don't pay. No one's ever paid for. Do people pay for, for farts? A f- fucking farty, farty pay pay farts. People pay for those? People definitely pay for paying farts. I would definitely, like an old Italian dude, woman, how they make sauce and put it in their garage, I'll fart in jars and put it in my garage. Dude, people will be so fucking hype if you did that. Dude, because sometimes I'll fart and it smells like a doctor's office. Another time it'll oh. smell like a rubber glove. Oh. Other times it'll smell like pumpkins. And then okay. other times it smells like fucking poop. Yeah. Yeah, well, that, that, that last one makes the most sense. Yeah, that one is most of the time, usually when I eat ice cream. Really? Yeah. Do you get, do they like hurt you? Do they burn? Sometimes. Farts burn butts 11? That was Keith's old screen name. That was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, but okay. uh, no, I, I, it doesn't really hurt too much because I, I like to eat healthy now. Sell it in a candle, baby. But back in the day, I used to drink a lot of milk. Like I'd be thirsty and be like, you know what? I'm just going to drink a ton of milk. And then I would, you know, I'd be farting and it'd be burning my, my rim. That sounds pretty good. Also, one thing I wanted to say before we start here today yes. is that uh, before, when you were in the bathroom, I was in the kitchen and I was eating a banana. Oh yeah. And as you were, <laughs> oh yeah. And as you were coming out of the bathroom, uh-huh. I was like, oh, this will be a funny joke. So I pretended to take the banana and shove it in my ass, and was just like, oh, oh. And then you never came. <laughs> so I was just in my, you, I was just in my kitchen, and no one's looking is at that me why doing when this I joke. At you, you had a smirk on your face. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck is he doing? Why is he laughing? <laughs> I was doing a joke of me shoving a banana in my ass, and no one was there to see it. So it was kind of like. I can't tell you how embarrassing, like how, like I have so many stories of things like that where I've like. Becca's like come home and I've like pretended to be like face down ass up like butt naked. I do that constantly. And she just doesn't like doesn't like walk into the room for like a while, so I have to just like get dressed in my own <laughs> sorrow. <laughs> in my own shame. You put your butthole to the wind for no reason. Yeah, it was you know, it's but hey, I mean some of my funniest moments no one has been around to see. That's a fact, Jack. But w- this episode, Joey, yeah. is uh something I came up with uh because I was going through the archives. And I was looking at stuff, and I was pulling up old pictures, and the title of this episode is, what's going on here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you have, you have like 15,000 pictures on your laptop that date back to like 2010. Uh, they do. They certainly do. From my old, and there are a lot that are still like gone. You know what I mean? Like there are some pictures that are just like gone to the time. This is, this is a decade of memories. This is. This is a decade of memories, and some even older than that. Yeah. And what I, what I did is I pulled up pictures that you really haven't seen. Right. Uh, and uh, we're going to go through, and we're going to talk about them and say, like, what's going on here? Yeah. I'm, I, I can only see the first one right now, yep. but, and as I hit next, I'll see the others. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, let's talk about this one. This is the first one. This is uh, 2005? Yeah. 2004? This is 15, 16 years ago. Two things right off the bat <laughs> I just want to talk about. You're wearing a witch hat, and those boots wouldn't fit you now. <laughs> No, they wouldn't. What the fuck are you wearing? I'm wearing Tim's, baby. New Yorker. Yeah. My first, I remember those. That's the first pair of jeans I've ever, like, I owned, like, kid jeans. Like, you know, cute kid jeans. But, like, as, what like, a preteen. cute kid jeans? You know, cute kid jeans. Like, kids in jeans. Like, are, Oshkosh? Yeah. And they're, like, all, like, crumpled near, like, the legs and the arms. This was your first, like, carpenter pant? There are no arms on jeans. <laughs> Yeah, no. These are my first. I feel like those are the ones. Did it have one of those straps where you could like hold a hammer in there? I'm sure. I'm sure it did. I'm sure it did. But these were like, I remember this was like, do you remember back in the day you would buy one outfit and you would try to make, you'd wear that one outfit like once every two weeks? Two weeks. Once every like six days. Yeah. You were going that frequent? Yeah. But my outfit was those jeans and those Timberland boots, which I didn't ever tie. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, listen. And that's also how I dress. I don't think I wore jeans until I was like 14 years old. You, there was a point in time where people don't realize I was compared to you a fucking giant. Yeah, yeah, I was a small you man. You were a little bitch. I was a little. <laughs> you were a little fucking boy here. Yeah, I was a little tiny man. Like look at like look at the size of your head compared to my fist. Yeah, you could have knocked my block off. I could have. <laughs> that's why you always kept me around because you knew I could physically kill you. Probably until now I'm fat. <laughs> And like you got better looking, and I think from there it just went downhill for me. I think it went uphill for a while. Did it? And then there was a slide. A big slide. (laughs) 
<laughs> Do you remember where these pictures were? This was this was Jamie's basement. The yeah, girl, the girl who I was in love with. You were hard in love with. From like kindergarten to five grade. Why the fuck did I, I say that? I think a little past that, Joey. I think it was like seventh grade. No, no, no. Once we once we parted schools. Yeah. Well, I remember. I used to pass mad notes to her. You, Joey was the king of note passing, ladies and gentlemen. If you didn't know this. Oh, the king, not the king. You were the king. Baby. I mean, I I would pass notes. All hell, the king. Let me tell you. you well, were no, fucking, you you would pass notes too. I would. Pa- I was the intermediary. Like I would. You the note would be written by you, given to me to give to somebody else. That's all, baby. I was just a fucking passenger. Yeah, but then in middle school, you were slamming notes to people. I was slamming. But like not just little notes, because that that's what we used to do back then. You used to write novels. I used to write fucking romantic letters. novels. I used to write letters and pretend my name was Chester. Yeah. Oh God, I'll never get over that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I remember this day specifically because, uh, and I remember those pants. For some reason, I remember those pants. But this was in Jamie's basement. Yeah. And I don't. Someone took this with one of those cameras that like, we had. We had a friend. Uh, I don't know a hat. She, she's still a, a friend. We just don't see her ever. Uh, Chelsea. Yeah. Who just like followed everyone with the camera. We have we have Chelsea to thank for a lot of our memories because uh, she just had a camera. She was really into photography and like this was back before phones or for anything. She would take pictures of us all the time and it was just like a it was like a thing, like, oh yo, go yeah. to MySpace and look yeah, at the Yeah, pictures. exactly where it was on MySpace. Yeah. And and do you remember like in this photo shoot we also like put on wigs and like I pretend to cut off your wiener. Oh yeah. Uh, you pretended to have a black wiener. It did, I did, I did. You it did. did. What was that? It was like I think a whip. There were a lot of weird things going on in Jamie's yeah. basement. Yeah, what the fuck is going on down there? <laughs> this is the least of the issues. Yeah, a witch hat, and then there was like a, it, it wasn't a, a, a penis, but it was something that resembled like a hairy penis. Phallus. It was it was a very phallic looking item. 100. And uh, you put it in your pants, pretend, and there was a wig that we pretended were your pubes. That, yes. That's which, what... back in the day, you had some wild pubes, dog. You always say that. You did. I remember... I remember you had fucking pubes for days. Well, I'm going to have to change your mind eventually because I've been keeping up with that as, <laughs> as an adult. Yeah, let's see it. Yeah. No, well, not here. No, I know it's Patreon. A, that like, yeah, that's so crazy. <laughs> Maybe a 15 million patrons will do but, that. Yeah, this was a good old day. Look at that. They're just just not a care in the world. Just a nice, friendly couple of friends hanging out. The only thing we cared about is where we were putting our fingers. Yeah. And not I, on each other. Well, yeah. No. Well... No one even knows. You can <laughs> interpret that how you will, because I don't even know the answer. Yeah, to that. yeah, yeah. That's true. Honestly, so that, that's you're talking what... about seeing my pubes. And yep, yep. All kinds of stuff. All right, let's get to the next photo. Next here. one. Next one. Oh, wait. You gotta, how do I get to the? You gotta click on the. Okay. Click on that. All right. <laughs> so Joey, what's <laughs> <laughs> Joey? What's going on here? All right, <laughs> Frankie. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I. Tr- <laughs> You're looking at me. This is this the, is kind of like the Mona Lisa. Any angle you get, it's looking right in your it's soul. Like a, it's looking right in your soul, and like you feel, I feel like you're disappointed in me. I, but I'm actually disappointed in you. Well, listen, I'm disappointed in myself. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I was in, I think my first year of grad school, and that was the most my facial hair could do. Like, I just want to say this before you know, go before ahead. you go into like a long thing. The floor is yours. Yeah, yeah. I just let's just quick, quick thing. That sucks. <laughs> Dude, it was such an awesome time. It was I such remember that. That's it. I will say this. <laughs> the mustache is actually pretty nice. Not bad. Yeah, it's just everything around it. I didn't earn, I didn't earn like my face isn't allowed to have that mustache there. I was pretty heavy there. That was Dude, my fattest year, I think. I, I would say you look nothing like that right now. I know, thank God. Yeah, yeah. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing yeah i remember i was so like in my mornings it was a part of my routine to wax the end of my mustache oh i was, th- I was thinking wax no like i would i would get I, fiz- I i bought mustache wax just to twirl the end of it that's good and it was a pretty good i mean that's a pretty good twirl we got going on there baby yeah 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 it's something but yeah you look like uh now, this, so this was post RA Frank, first year RD Frank. Is this someone that hold, that you hold in your your heart? Oh, I fucking hated this version. Really? Of you so much. Why? Yeah. It just what you just so. <laughs> I can't even look at it. I can't even look at it because it's so distracting. Should I do it again? No. Well, if yeah, you could do it now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you could. Just don't have that big of a face, a face. and the mustache at the same time. I think time. the glasses don't help either. Like those are no, they're stylistically dead. 
Like, there's no fucking, like, they're just a barren wasteland of any sort of style. Yeah, yeah. You you also just look like someone made you take this picture. Um, You're kind of like, yeah, fine. I think, I think this was a candid taken by you. I don't remember where or when, but I'm pretty sure it was. It was around end of 2014, beginning of 2015. What an excellent year. It was uh, It was a rough year. You're looking into the heart and soul of a man that was heartbroken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in a lot of pain there. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> I can convey the pain. Oh, fuck. This is great. All right. I'm all having right. a great time. Not all of these are of you. Some of them are like you were, you're there for them. There are time in our lives. Mm-hmm. Okay, next. Oh, oof. oof! Now this, this is prime. Look at those gang signs and everything, baby. So I don't. I'll be honest with you. At the time, and I, I would say even now, I don't really know what I'm doing. Uh uh-uh. <laughs> You know what I mean? Me neither. I'm pretty sure that's like Albania I'm, or something. Yeah, I'm throwing up a W, which is normally commonly associated with the West Side. The West Side. We live on the East Coast. We live on the East Coast. Don't, also on the East Side of of the our East town. Coast. <laughs> we could not be more East. Yeah, there's. We're not even on the West Side of our town. Yeah, there's water right next to us, and it's called the East River. Yeah. So, uh, is it? Yeah, yeah, that's the East River. Oh, I was saying, like, right next to LaGuardia. That's like the bay and the ocean. That I don't know. Yeah, that's the bay and the ocean. Different shit. But you're wearing my green Astros hat. That didn't fit me. It didn't fit me. You could have fit my whole self in there. I Well, th- so that's not, like, tilted. That was put on your head normal, and it just fell. Right. I'm not going for a T.I. kind of look. Oh, no. Oh, T.I. How does he do it? It's got to be some sort of tape. Or, it's got to be, right? By the way, him and his wife, they got some crazy allegations right now. Wow, what's going on? That they were like, they were, you know, having like sex parties and some of it wasn't consensual. And oh, there was no. Some drugs and drugs. Oh, no. Yeah. That's not good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's probably why he's out of Ant-Man 3. He was in Ant-Man 3? He was in Ant-Man 1 and 2. And now he's out of Ant-Man 3. Well, that's what happens. Tip. Don't call yourself Tip, by the way, guys. Unless you want to make fun of. But he has a lot of guns. So he I'm has guns. Care. He has money. I, you know, he has got money. He's got money? Yeah. Okay. So then if you got guns and money, you can call yourself whatever you want. Tip, dip, yeah. flip. Still going to need some consent. Otherwise, you're going to deal with that jail time. Oh, yeah. Then you're going to be getting the tip in fucking jail. Right. Uh, <laughs> uh, we thought we were like... I, I To our defense. Go. We weren't like this. Like, this was a joke. No. To an extent. Like, we weren't, like, throwing up gang signs. We were, like, like, when you would talk with us, we'd be like, yo, what's up? Like, we're normal. But, like, when we were, like, on AIM, it was like, yeah. Uh, welcome to the block. The block. Yeah, yeah. We live in the hood. Yeah, yeah. You know, with the, the boys. The boys. The boys. Live in the hood. With the boys. On the block. On the block. I'm in the crib. It, the crib. Yeah. The bat cave was on my, that was my phone number and my, my house phone number and my phone. Your house phone number was the bat cave? No, no, no. Not the bat cave. The bat cave. Gotcha. The D is very important. So that would make you the Batman? The Batman. Was I the Robin? Uh, you were probably the Robin, yeah. Okay. Uh, but, yeah, I remember this picture because this, again, Chelsea hooking it up. Yeah. Uh, I was wearing Scarface boxers that said the world is yours. Around the, the elastic. The crazy part about that is that it wasn't. It never <laughs> will be. <laughs> the world never was mine, and it never will be, baby. <laughs> Did you have any of those, like, graphic boxers? I, I remember one of my first pair of boxers when I made the switch from tidy whites to boxers. Mm-hmm. I thought I was so fucking cool. Yeah, whoa. And Hindsight. Mm-mm. And they were just uh, four leaf clovers, and it's and it said feeling lucky. Oh yeah! And I wore them to the bone, dude. <laughs> like I I held onto them. They had rips, dude. I still have some boxers from when I was in fucking sixth grade. I still have my Looney Tune boxers. They're like they're in my drawer. I'll never get rid of them because um, I have separation issues. <laughs> <laughs> because obviously <laughs> they're collectibles. Yeah, they yeah. are. I mean, think about the balls that. Dropped in those eventually. Yeah, the balls. The balls on the block with the boys in the crib. In the crib and the hood. Yeah. Uh, in the bat cave, honestly. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, <laughs> this was just, this was a, this was quite the, this was quite the time, man. This is unreal. We like, what, what was the uh, like? Did you have any? Because you wore like pretty much like just like. 
fucking Tommy Hilfiger like sweatshirts and just baggy sweats. Yeah, yeah. I, like I said, I don't think I wore jeans until I was like 14. And then when I started wearing jeans, they were big. Big old jeans, baby. Big jeans. Big jeans. <laughs> Avril Lavigne looking jeans. Yeah. Never wore any chains like on my pants. Oh, or I didn't no. really re- wear chains. Yeah, either. no. Well, I yeah, I, I did I, go through a phase where I wore some wooden rosary beads. <laughs> did you? I for like a hot week. You were a big fan of those fucking uh, the silicone bands. Do you know how fucking badly I wanted to get my hands on one of those bracelets that said "I heart boobies"? I had one, and let me tell you, they were just as stupid as you would have. I mean, no, they were. No, well, they're about like breast cancer, which that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not breast cancer is not cool, but like no, supporting, yeah. <laughs> ending it, and research. That's the cool thing. Right. But <laughs> and boobies are cool. Boobies, yeah, pretty dope. Pretty, I mean, pretty cool. Uh, you had, I remember, you had like a Live Strong one, and then like a Sleepwalkers one. I had one that was wooden and had some like uh, religious figures on yep, it. Yep, 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 yep. I remember and, those. And I just, I couldn't even tell you why. I had the chains. I had my girlfriend got me dog tags for our for my birthday. Right, because you're a, you're a. I'm a fucking a soldier. Yeah, you're a soldier. I'm a soldier for her. Okay. I think it was around that time that song, that Destiny's Child came, song came out. I need a soldier. And she wanted you to be the soldier. I was the soldier for her. Right. You know, I think that's also a Tip Harris song. I believe that was Lil Wayne. Where you got it, I'm the hottest around. No, that's, I think that's, I'm a, so, that's, that's oh, T.I. Yeah. Then what's the, what's the Lil Wayne one? I think he's Survivor also, maybe? Uh, don't I'm know. I'm a survivor. Whatever. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Good All time. Right. Good times. Next one. Oh, <laughs> So, uh, this, <laughs> this is the first time I grew out my hair. Frank. Um, that was the longest it had been at that point in my life. How did it get so straight? Someone straightened it. Got it. Um, you look like Andrew Kai. I, <laughs> that's a kid we went, to, that's a kid we were like in third oh grade with. Oh my God. How did I remember his last name? I don't know. But someone, when, I, when this happened, they told me that I looked like, you ever see that picture of like the cat with a hollowed out lime on its head? What the fuck are you talking <laughs> about? Oh, I do know what you're talking <laughs> Dude, that just looks like a very soft helmet. It was very, like surprisingly soft. Because my hair naturally is very curly. This, this just, this feels British. This feels... <laughs> Yeah, I could see that. It just feels British. Like, right before that picture, I was like, oh, the bobbies is coming. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yo, hold on. Where, are you in, like, a psych ward? Like, what are we What are we in? Uh, are we... No, I was in a bathroom. Uh, yeah, I know that. It was my friend's. Because uh, this is when I lived at college. I was in my grad. I think it was grad school again. Oh, okay. Because, yeah, that doesn't look like anywhere that's it, nice. No, 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 no. It was a very poorly decorated bathroom. You could say that again. Uh, it did look like it was very white. I'll say that. Just as all scary things in this world are. <laughs> <laughs> very white. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. You, there was one year where you begged for this for your birthday. I did, I did, I did. Because I had... So- <laughs> Frankie hid this picture from me for so long. Well... Would you blame me? It, yes, because it's a it's a relic, <laughs> and uh, it needs to be in a, in a in a museum. By the way, how do you say that word? Museum. 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 I say museum. No, you don't. I do. I say museum. No, you fucking don't. I mean, Joe. I'm, I'm, you just said museum. Did I? Yeah, I said it to you. Well, do you speak differently to other fucking people? No, I meant like I purposefully pronounced it correctly to you. Or, but I say like museum. Museum. See, I don't say museum. How do you say the, the, the stuff you drink in the morning? What the fuck is that? Like, uh, it's hot and you put coffee? coffee? Yeah. Coffee. Coffee. What the fuck does that have to do with museum? <laughs> moving on, baby. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Okay. Uh, this, was, this was also a very heartbroken person you were seeing right here. Really? Because it looks like you're living it up. I, you know, I was pretty happy. Yeah, it looks like you were really having a good, a I, good I think go. I, and the saddest part is I was very sober in this picture. Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. What the fuck was that? <laughs> yeah. You. What would you? You should grow your hair out. Yeah. One second. Mortal Kombat. What about it? What's that guy's name? There's a lot of the people. main guy in the movie. Liu Kang. Yeah. <laughs> Liu Kang. Damn, I kind of. If I was Liu Kang, I'd crush it. My animality would be fire. You don't know what I'm talking about. Don't even pretend. You said animality. Yeah. If you don't know what that is, you're a dumb bitch. Or is it? Bestiality. No, that's something different. That's fucking horses. It's <laughs> fucking dogs. Yeah. Uh, Not just dogs, just any, anything in the animal. animal, animal, animal. 
Go ahead. What the fuck is going on? Technically, humans are in the animal kingdom. So Did we- I ever tell you I saw someone uh, suck off a dolphin once? I, I, randomly on the don't. internet. It was, a, it was an Asian woman. Oh, that's... I feel like... Uh, I don't want to be like... Yeah, don't. Just I don't, don't. want to be racist or anything, but I just want to say the Japanese, they, they do some stuff on the internet. Uh... Hey, and one I'm of them, backing out of this one, baby. One of them, one of them, one of them is sucking off dolphins because I did see it. I didn't even know dolphins had penises up until that point. I mean, but, they're mammals. They got peepees. Yeah, but I feel like they're hard to find. And then also you have to get one. I could probably point to a dolphin's penis, Joey. But what are you going to do? You're going to get the dolphin out of the pick water? Pick the dolphin up, point. There it is. Pick the dolphin up, Frank? <laughs> How are you going to pick up a dolphin? It's just like... It's a big fish. It's a big... It is a big fish. And they're smart. They, they are, know what you're doing. <laughs> they'll know if you're going for that <laughs> penis. Like, Stop. Don't touch me there. This is my private square. Like, they know just to, like, leave them alone. <laughs> what did you just do? Stop. Did you learn that in college? I did. Nice. <laughs> All right. Next picture. Okay. All right. You this remember this? This is a good time. You remember this? I do remember. Frankie hit me up and he's like, yo, I'm going to be on TV. Do you want to come? And I, I said, thought I was going to be on TV. Right. And, and I actively chose to wear suspenders for the occasion. Yeah. So this is back. This was might have been like RD Frank. This was. Yeah. This was. This was. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Which would explain the suspenders. Suspenders. Yeah. And the glosses. Yeah. I mean, look at you. you I mean, you got the hair flip. So close to still being a douche. Right. I don't look terrible there. You look good. I mean, you're... You make me look tiny, though. I because, yo, you're you're a small boy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you realize. Like, you you look big and masculine and hot, but next to me, it shrinks you down. Right. You know? Yeah. Um, but uh, th- we went to... Uh, so, uh, a friend of mine from college, uh, she's like, do you want to be on this game show? It's not... You're like, you'll go. Like, you might get selected and you can win like shit. And I was like... That was actually when I learned how they do the tv stuff oh yeah i didn't do you remember all right so it was called best time ever with so neil patrick funny. harris it was a live show too very live um <laughs> uh first of all canceled yeah it's gone after like four episodes yeah yeah, yeah. they got alec, rid of that ba- alec baldwin and, and nicole schwarz were you sure 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 yeah sure, sure, sure. um she uh, nicole ba- uh, alec baldwin was the host yeah no he was like the guest host he was like the guest announcer or whatever it was yeah nph was the guy nph was up there do you remember like this might be mean. He was like kind of mean in between takes. I don't remember that. They would go to like commercial break and it would stop and he'd be like, all right. He didn't have a deep voice like that, but like he would like bark <laughs> orders at people. I get it's a very hectic, hectic time, hectic area. But one of the reasons that I like this show put me off to like Hollywood and like so much. Do you remember when we were in that room and they were like, everyone say something like interesting about yourself? Dude, that was the best time ever. Hold on, let me just tell from my point of view because it's so funny. So they, they take the people that are possibly going to be picked to be put on the show and they put them in a room you, beforehand. You get uh-huh. there like an, like two hours before showtime. And Filmed in Astoria, so it was easy for us. Right, so we, we went and they put all the guests, so me and all the other people that were came, coming with the people who are actually going to be on the show, uh, on one side and then all the people who are possibly going to be in the show on the other side and then they were going up and down the rows and being like stand up and say something about yourself mind you they only put the most like bubbly and outgoing oh! people in on tv and that's why when you watch the price is right you get someone up there and they're like oh my god yeah, and it's yeah. like you know this person's a psycho yep so everyone knows that going into this i assume it, it seemed like it was like everyone, everyone's ev- 20th time i'll tell doing you this. this everyone knew it but us exactly but the person that wanted to get picked and win money and it was it was so funny because they'd be like all right tell us something about yourself and a woman would stand up she's like hi yeah i'm (laughs) agatha i speak three languages and my husband is a mailman and and then like like, all the people around know that they're being filmed and taped the whole time so they're like oh (gasps) oh, yeah yeah like, it was fucking insane. Me and Frankie kept looking at each other like, what the fuck we is We were in the wrong on? place. <laughs> yeah, we are like, what the fuck? I don't even remember what my interesting fact was. I can tell you this. Okay. I know that there was a, a legitimate trend of people saying they speak certain languages. And then you stood up. And the first thing you said was, hi, I'm Frank. Uh... I only speak English. You said something like, <laughs> I don't speak seven languages. And then you said something else. I don't know what the fact was, but it was just like, whatever the fuck it was. But it was. You know, these people were just like, hi. Yeah. I'm Betsy. Yeah. It's like, it's. It, it, I'm it, a stay at home wife. I have four lovely boys. Yeah. Like, they are the light of my life. What drive me? Coco bananas. Yeah. Like, just like fucking grow. And this is, I, I remember saying to myself, like, 
damn, like that was miserable. And someone said like, yo, that's what every fucking waking minute is in Hollywood. Like if you live in Los Angeles, you'll be like, uh, all right, at a restaurant, like, all right, can I get the uh, Caesar salad? Oh, you want the Caesar salad? Well, let me tell you, oh. there's no real Caesar on it, buddy, pal. Like, I, I just like just want to take a shit on that person's <laughs> Dude, face. It was exhaust. And then at the taping, I remember they had like a, like a fucking roll. Of the pictures of people that were going to get picked for the to yeah. go on stage. And mine was the one right before they got picked. Oh. And the trivia, I would have swept this shit. Because it was like, name the four members of the Beatles. And the person up there was like, oh, oh my, oh my God. Michael? Is it, who, J- Steven? Yeah, like they had no fucking clue. All right, before we go any further, we do have to get to the ads, the friends of the show. Um, I'm doing it after the fact because I forgot to do it. But anyway, here we go. Uh, the first one we have here is BetterHelp. BetterHelp uh, is online counseling. So if you've been wanting to talk to a therapist or someone to help you through your problems uh, or anything else that's going on in your life, you can use BetterHelp. Um, but yeah, it's a great uh, tool uh, to do it. You can start communicating to a licensed physician in under 48 hours. Uh, you can also switch from counselor to counselor like very easily. Uh, they have you know licensed people who specialize in depression, anxiety, uh, relationship drama or anything like that. Um, so definitely check it out. I mean, you know, it's just something like I, I've been in therapy for, uh, I think a year now. Um, so and it's great. So if you, uh, want to try it out and you want to try better help, definitely check it out. Um, you also get 10% off if you use betterhelp.com slash yard, uh, spelled B E T T E R H E L P.com slash yard. Uh, you will get 10% off your first month. Um, if you go to that, uh, link betterhelp.com slash yard. But yeah, it's talking to online counselors. You can text them, you can call them, you can do video chat. So whatever you're comfortable with, they make it very easy. It's very seamless to kind of you know move from counselor to counselor or like to pick out what you want. Um, and like I said, you can get communicating just under 48 hours. So there you go. If you ever, ever wanted to try it, now's the time. All right. Uh, next, we have stamps.com. Uh, they bring the amazing services of the U.S. Postal Service and UPS right to your computer. Um, you know, it's a must have for any business. I used to use it a lot when I was uh, doing my own merch and shipping. Um, it's great. And if you honestly, it's, it's just more convenient. If you're going to be shipping things, you can go to stamps.com. Um, and it's a website. So obviously it doesn't close, you know, the post office closes sometimes maybe it's 2 AM and you want to print out some, uh, official U S postage. And, uh, you can't do that if you have to wait and go to the store, you have to wait in lines and stuff like that. So you can just do it from the comfort of your own home. All you need is a printer. Um, and not only that, but you also get some dis- discounts, um, up to 40% off uh, post office rates and up to 62% off UPS shipping rates. Um, not to mention it's a fraction of the cost of those expensive, uh, expensive postage meters. Um, but yeah, so you're saving time and money. It's a no-brainer. Um, plus, there's no risk. And with our digital code, uh, our promo code uh, BASEMENT, um, you get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale, no long-term commitments or con- uh, contracts. Uh, just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in basement. That is stamps.com. Click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and uh, the code is basement. Okay? Uh, so go check that out, stamps.com. And uh, lastly here, we have uh, MVMT. MVMT has a bunch of really cool products, um, and now they've just expanded into blue light glasses. I have a pair of these cool blue light glasses. They're very trendy. They're very nice. I love them. Um, and I actually wanted to get a pair of... Um, that actually had like a prescription that were similar to the ones that I had from MVMT because they were so cool. So they're very stylish and they don't break the bank or anything like that. They're very worth it and they're minimalist. Like they have jewelry. Like it's just, it's, it's great. Um, so go check them out. Blue light glasses. If you don't know, like it filters out certain things that are bad for your eyes when you're looking at screens, which we all are all the time, especially if you're me and you're watching TV before you go to sleep, it's better to have the blue light glasses on so that you could sleep better throughout the night. Um, so definitely go check out. Uh, a bunch of uh, their stuff. Also, they have watches. Obviously, you're looking at watches that are like the quality of $400, $500 watches in other stores, but they're just, you know, they start at just $95. They're a fraction of the cost, um, so it's great. Um, So go check out uh, MVMT. Uh, Get 15% off today with free shipping and free returns by going to MVMT.com slash basement. Again, that is MVMT.com slash basement. Great stuff, a lot of cool products. Like I said, they just expanded into blue light glasses. So they have a lot of stuff there. So go check them out. Um, MVMT.com slash basement for 15% off today. What a day. What a day. What a day. Put me off to Hollywood. Also, very tight pants. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And very baggy pants for me. Yeah. Honestly. All right, next we have 
<laughs> I had to put this in. Call up. That's, oh, God. that's good if he remembers. Yeah. This is, I mean, look at this sexy son of a bitch. Look at Josh. This is in uh, Miami. My jammy. My, my jammy. My jammy. Uh, we were in Miami. This was what, 2012? Yeah, this was June, uh, yeah, June of 2012 because it was right before I turned 21. He looks like, was that Fez? Hey. He was, yeah, the Fonz. The Fonz. He, first of all, he is no, I kid you not, like 90 pounds lighter here. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a, like 110 soaking wet here. He probably benched, I would say, 18 pounds in this picture, and then now he benches, I think, 100 million pounds. So, like, <laughs> imagine someone just, like, blew him up. Like, just took him and just... Hey, and <laughs> what are you doing? Do you not realize that this is the internet, and you can't just do that? Do you not realize... I'm sorry. Josh is going to cut this because he's going to be embarrassed anyway. <laughs> He's going to hit me up. He's going to be like, yo. <laughs> but do you remember what he was drinking? What he was drinking? Do you remember? I remember this as clear as day. Because was it something specific? Yeah. It was fucking disgusting. It was pink lemonade burnettes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the disgusting. There was, a, there was, a, um, there was a, a liquor store like a block away from this place we were staying at in mm -hmm. Miami. And we would go to it every single day. And we would buy these things of like this vodka Burnett's. Was it vodka? It was, yeah. yeah it Burnett's was vodka. was vodka. And we would just crush them every night. I, that was like we? insane. I, I don't know. No, yeah. I No, not me. I was drinking mostly beer. And the only thing that I got that I wanted to drink was Jameson. And do you remember what happened to that bottle, Jameson? Uh, Eric tried to pop it as if it was champagne. He, tr he put his, he popped it, put his thumb on it and shook it. As if there was some sort of carbonation in there. It's just whiskey. Just <laughs> flat out Irish whiskey. <laughs> so, yeah. But this was a good trip. It was a fun time. A uh, lot of memories from that. But hey, Josh. Good, yeah, good fix, stuff. Fix that, baby. Next. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. So, I look pretty good there. You, you fucking surprise. You look hot. Oh, Still man. pretty baggy jeans, though. Oh, they were big. For, I would say, until maybe five years ago, they were pretty big. What's going on with Danny is my question. Oh yeah, here. so Danny is had one or two. He had a couple. I can't tell you how many pictures I have of Danny with that exact same face. Probably a thousand. Uh, he loved to do that face. Look at this St. Francis Prep football. Yeah, you were a football star, baby. No, I wasn't. I know. I didn't want to say it. Also, <laughs> also, how old do you think we are in this picture? Uh, I can tell you exactly how old we are, given context clues. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, let's go with this. Um, cut out picture stickers of baseball players on your wall. Um, what is that? That uh, is, uh, um, we're drinking forties. Yes, we are. I want to say this too, back in these days, however old we were, which wasn't 21. Nope. Uh, I think every weekend we would go to your house and drink forties. Yeah. And that's where the... Uh, you know the 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 bad habits start. Uh huh. Yeah. So this, con contrary to what you can see in the picture, this isn't a prison conjugal room. Uh, right. Yeah. That's no. my bedroom. <laughs> that was my bedroom, which was painted prison floor gray. Yeah. It, yes. Yeah. Yes. That is that is janitor closet gray. Janitor closet gray. And uh, yeah, those are uh, that's it's 2010. I think it's like January or February 2010. Oh, so then I was like freshly 18 or 19. Yes. So, because all those pictures, uh, that thing, the Yankees thing, was, uh, it was like a collectible thing that my mom got. Uh, and it was like every newspaper clipping of the Yankees World Series. And they had just won in 2009 also. So, as an, a, you know, a teenager, I had fat heads on my wall of the Yankees. Because, yes. Uh, it was, you know. Yeah. Uh, and then um, we were crushing 40s, baby. That was. Beer tasted better in a 40, if you ask me. Yeah, especially when your hands are duct taped to it. Because yeah. Frankie wanted to play Edward 40 hands. It's a fun game. Every week. Which, if you don't know the rules, you mm -hmm. tape two 40s to your hands so you don't have the ability to do anything with your hands. But drink. But drink. And you're not allowed to pee. You have one hour to finish the beers uh, and you win. How much is a 40? Like two and a half beers or something? Uh, well, regular beer is 12. So it's three and a half. Gotcha. Or three and a quarter that or something. That is a solid amount of beers. It's like three and a third, but... Yeah. Yeah, that's... So times that by two. That's over seven beers in an hour, baby. I think if I drank a 40 straight up, like, in, like, a half hour, 
my asshole would just fucking. I couldn't do it now. My ass would just. You know what? Like a saloon. We should do it. Well, we should do Edward Forty Hands. I'm for coming over on Friday. Oh. If you have forties there, I swear to God, I'm gonna die laughing. I'm, first of all, I don't think they sell forties in the state of New Jersey. <laughs> I'll bring them. I'll bring you fucking forty. If you bring forties, that'll be incredible. I'm not gonna drink two forties and duct tape them to my hands, but I'll I'll well, drink then, one. Yeah, you go bigger, you go home. Well, I'm gonna bring a forty. I'll bring. <laughs> oh, dude. it's gonna be you meeting my daughter. Yeah. With just forties taped to your. Uh, you're gonna be holding the baby. I'm gonna be holding the forties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be great. Yeah. But this is what we used to do. Uh, oh look, see that is a religious rope. Uh, <laughs> that's so. What I'm wearing around my neck is a is a rope. Yeah. And then it's it, then it's a um. A crucifix that's made out of wood. Um, Beginning of the end. Yeah. yeah. Where did you get that and where is it gone? Uh, I got that in high school. They gave it to us for something and I don't know where it is, but I I remember really liking it at the time. You can't throw out religious stuff because that's when you go to the hell. I... I can't tell you how many times I've done that, but like, it's cause like, I'm not really... Like when someone gives me a card, like a birthday card, I go, oh my God, this is very nice. And as soon as you... Look away. Gone. I throw it away. Really? Yeah, because like, I, I, what am I going to keep I this? have hundreds of birthday cards. Yeah, I, I see. I'm not. I'm I, not the I one thing I don't throw out is when you go to like funerals and you get those cards. Like, oh, I, yeah. I, I have a bunch of those. Yeah. I, can't, I can't throw those out. I but take like else, an inordinate amount of those though. I'll take like 17 and just be like, just, you know, for oh, just a lot of places. <laughs> just <in> case. Yeah. <laughs> just stash them through yeah, the yeah, house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, but this is a good time. Soul Patch Frank also. Very just nice. the Soul Patch. I don't well, know if I could... That's not a Soul Patch. That's a... That's just a beard. Yeah, or like a dirt... A sh- uh, yeah. Like I got dragged through a pile of shit. You still have that Spider-Man shirt. I know you do. I don't. It's... Uh, so, fun fact. That Spider-Man shirt from Old Navy was a... I liked it. Bought it. Forgot that it was a child shirt. So, that's mm. a child's double XL. Uh, which, guess what? Nowhere near fitting me now, boy. Yeah, that's a big child also. Yeah. Well, that's why they go double X. Right. Okay, next. Wow. Look at that. So that's four four boys, four teenage boys in a kiddie pool. Yeah, that's me, you, Impy, and David. Yeah, that's that's not the abomination from the Hulk movies. That's David. <sighs> that's not the monster from uh, fucking Pan's Labyrinth. I didn't know rib cages go all the way around. Yeah, I don't think your bones are supposed to be that out. God, I love David. I haven't seen him in a long time. Yeah, me. I'm surprised we were able to fit in that pool. I, I, well, I'm not because David's body is basically like one of those like toys where you press the bottom and it falls apart. I don't know what toys you're talking you about. You know, like it's like a statue. It like looks like a thing and oh, you press the bottom and it falls yeah, apart. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let go and it... Yeah, 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 yeah. This uh, is on my mom's patio. Yep. Uh, that's a dog pool. Mm-hmm. Very hot day. So we just wanted to uh, get in the pool. and. Which uh, guess what? You also had a pool. Yep. <laughs> I did, but we didn't. You yeah. had a pool that I'm would... pretty sure this was taken with a laptop as well. It was 100% taken with a laptop, and I'll tell you why I remember. Because there's an accompanying video of me and David underneath the deck dancing to It's Raining Men. I remember that. And then you pouring the water on us. Yes! Yeah. Holy shit. How do you remember that? Because I, I have it. So they were below, and I poured the water from this pool, and it was raining, and it was like, it's raining, man. Bang. So we were always, you know... Uh, Questionable. Well, that's People, not what I was going to say. Yeah. I was going to say that we were, we were always creating content. Well, you know, this is... This trying is to be funny, man. Pre-YouTube, Joe. Yeah. Post 48th Street Files. So this right here is the dawn of a new day. It is. It is. It is. You know, you don't even realize it. You see those feet in the corner there? My feet? Those are earning money nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how, baby. <laughs> All right, next up. <laughs> <laughs> so this isn't you, obviously. Uh, <laughs> Where is this? Um, this so this uh, is in uh, Las Vegas. Ah, uh, again, this isn't. But it, you kind of have a Hasidic Jewish haircut. Well, it was so. This is when I had the long hair. Yeah, and it, but there's, there's and it was in a ponytail, and it sideburn had, curls, and it came out of the ponytail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there's a set of fat cheeks behind you there too. Yeah, I don't know. I, I honestly, uh, it looks like one of our. I, I can tell you exactly who that is in those blue, uh, those blue shorts. Wait, where where is this? This is Vegas. Was I at this one? Yes, that's why I included it. You were there, Joey. Oh, now is is that boss? In the all the way background, yeah. yeah. In the all the way oh, background, shit. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but this is when we went to the daylight pool party. 
Oh, yeah. And we got the personal pool. Yeah. So we went. So I fucking love. I can't go again to Las Vegas. My body will, literally, yeah. I won't come back. The last time I went, I'll die. my body was like, dude, we really? Like, you got there and it. you were instantly upset. Yeah, I was not, I was not good. Uh, and uh, I think this was the last time we went. Yeah. Um, and uh, Joey, we went to a pool party. <laughs> we went to a pool party. So this is mid-blink. I'm not like super drunk. No, you fu- were <laughs> fucked up that day. <laughs> I remember because you were fucked. I was like, when Frank got there, I thought I was drunk and I was like, you're freaking yourself. No, 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 no. We were, so we went together and all of our friends were like, nah, we don't want to go. It was like me, you, and like four other people. And then uh, so some people were like, yo, we're going to stay. We're going to, you know, like play roulette. Like some people are going to play, go to a poker tournament. And then we get there and this guy comes up to you. He's like, yo, it was a Thursday. It was pretty dead at the time. Oh yeah. He knew who I was. And he's like, yo, like I know who you are. You make fucking awesome videos. They're funny here. Here's five free drink tickets. Yeah. And we were like, cool, you know, that, that's great. And Joey, being the kind and courteous person he was, handed them out to his, the people that were there. And then he goes, yo, it's pretty dead today. Do you want a cabana? And with a personal pool. <laughs> and I just went, you just fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we went and uh, we got just bottles of their cheapest vodka. Yeah. I think they threw in like two bottles for free. Yeah, maybe. And that was a day. This is vodka, Frank. Frank don't drink vodka. As you can tell. Uh, but, uh, it was a good time. It was, that was a good day. I remember that was a day for you. Yeah. And then my day was the following day. Your day was, oh, no, it was the Saturday. Saturday. Oof. Oof. Yeah, no, not you a good were, day. You were, uh, you were another man. Different person. So, uh. I don't know who I was. I, uh, listen, would I go back to Vegas? Yes, but I wouldn't with be. With the right able- group. I wouldn't go with, it. we, we went with like fucking 17 people. I would just want to go with a group where there's at least two other people that enjoy rest. Because our friends do not. Well, no. So I enjoy rest. You enjoy rest. Danny, Sergeant, Lieutenant. <laughs> the sleep police. So Lieutenant Danny M. Holtz of the sleep police. <laughs> Dude, if he, he would come into your room. If you if you blinked too slow, he'd be like, sleep. 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 Oh, when well, you go home and sleep, him. Uh, oh, my God. It was so bad. Um, but uh, I, would go, I would go back with, like, you. Um, I'd go back with Josh. Josh was a good time. Yeah. Josh was fun. Josh is a wild card too, just like you are. You guys are wild cards. No, no. That's Sometimes Josh has a very chill day, but there's other times you're like, "Yo, Josh, bounce off the wall." Bounce it off the wall. <laughs> um, I'd go back. Yeah, I'd go back with some friends. Yeah, yeah. It would be a good time. Yeah, but we'll see. I still got. You know, we went. How many times did we go to Vegas? Like four, five. I went five times. Yeah, so I went four, uh, booked five, and then couldn't go the fifth. Yeah, time. you couldn't go. The fifth I had one. to just eat the thing because I had to go to a, a wedding. Uh, but anyway, uh, next. Okay, where the fuck? Oh, yeah, you remember that? Wait, this is uh, uh, Legends in the yep, city. Yeah, Legends Bar. Yeah, so you could see also directly into my nostrils. Yeah, <laughs> like I could see your brain at this point. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you could see a this lot. Of is things. Later in life. This is later. Who are these fucking people? So it was it was LSU. It was the LSU versus Bama game. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it is. You can see it in the background. This is LSU. Um, Bama. It was Saturday, November eighth. Uh, sat- yeah, November eighth. Yeah, this was like 2014, 2015 maybe. I think it was twenty fourteen. Yeah. And do you remember that kid? No. He was like, "Yo, my dad like ran some department at fucking LSU. Come down." And like he was like in a fraternity or some shit, and he was like trying to get you to like go down and spend like a weekend there. What the fuck? You don't remember that? And then he, I was probably all over that. Too, oh, yeah, I mean, probably at the time. But then also, they were, maybe not these two people, other people in that bar, they had dat. Oh, there was a lot of de-cocaine. De-coke was flying. De-coke was sniffling. Yeah, it, it yeah. Was. And uh, you guys loved this fucking bar. I just liked going because when, like, you would watch college football on Saturdays, if there was an LSU game on, people would go insane. Like, they would have, like horns going off and like all this shit they I, play this the was the song. first time i ever heard of a bar being themed after like a team or a insane? school i'd never heard about it before that dude yeah there's tons there's there's florida bars there's bama bars like now all i this know shit. yeah now I, I had never known and i remember i this is the only time i had went a lot of debt a uh, lot of debt place was huge and yeah. this was the night that remember someone started a fake trend on twitter that macaulay culkin died and we all like bought beers and we're like yo we gotta pour it out for macaulay culkin <laughs> You don't remember it? No. I think I have, like, on my... Fuck, it's somewhere. I think I was tagged in a picture on Instagram, and it was like, R.I.P. Macaulay Culkin. 
And there's like all of us with just beers. What fucking idiots. Yeah. Oh my you god. You were a big time uh snapback guy too. Oh my god, back then I was snapping so hard. You had a lot of snapback. I'm surprised with, you know, the money that you steal from me that you don't have more hats. I mean I've got a good amount of hats. Do you? Money that you steal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You invested your money into putting your name on shirts that you make me wear. <laughs> uh, but oh, man. Yeah. I hope these people are doing well. Uh, yeah, I'd like to know that guy in with the eyes. Um, yeah, I think I believe. Oh, yeah, you know, actually, that's Chris Martin of Coldplay. So yeah, oh yeah, it was very nice oh, yeah. guy meeting him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right, let's get to this next picture here. There's not many left. <laughs> <laughs> what? So do you remember this? That's boss again, again in the back. Boss is chilling in the back, baby. This was uh, what was it called? Uh, Central Bar. Oh, in like the Lower East. Yes, and we had a friend. That was a wild night. We had a friend. There was a party of like just a bunch of like super cool fucking Asian guys that were there. Yeah. And one of our friends belly flopped onto their table. Oh yeah, I remember that. And then uh, had him on his back. At one point, and then I'm, I have to use no names here because I'll get yeah, people in trouble. Here's the thing, right? Our friends, they're for the most part, they're good people, but sometimes, yeah. well, not anymore because everyone's super tame now. But back in the day, these days, we would go up to a bar and it was like, uh, I this is too many people. Like this is gonna get out of hand. Something's gonna happen. Mm-hmm. Literally, I think in the first like nine minutes of us being <laughs> at this bar, our friend jumped on these guys' table like not, this. Like, <laughs> Like as yo, why does he belly flop? Belly flopped on their table, like bang, yeah, for no reason. Yeah. I was like, oh my god, it was it was a rough. And then a fight almost broke out, not with them, but some other people, I think. And I remember this was one of our friends who at the time wasn't really a friend, but has come to be a better friend now. Had broken up with like a long time yes. partner, yes, and then went fucking AWOL that night. And, yeah, and I had to pull them out physically. I had to lie to them, lie to them about our friend getting jumped to get them out of a strip club. <laughs> Do you remember that? I do, I do, I do. Uh, it was a good time, man. It was a good time. It was a good time. This is I've I've just I've always liked this picture because that's pure happiness. Just two just two boys, just real happy. Yeah, honestly, yeah. It, it looks like your head's not really connected. Uh, like that looks like like as if it was my body, but you photoshop photoshopped your head on it. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, yeah. You're doing something, but that guy. I hope that guy's doing really. I well really too. hope he's having a great old time because you he can't recapture like this this magic. Yeah, exactly. All, All right. right, let's get to the next one. Two more left, I think. I got teabagged. Why does this exist? <laughs> I was sick. Like, in the head, yes, obviously. But also physically are sick. Are we going to talk about the chin strap or are we going to ignore it? We have to. You can't ignore it. It's a little thick. It was as thick as it could get at that point in my life. Yeah, it does look a little dusty. Uh, it was my freshman year of college, so that's where you see the weight starting to come out. Well, there's not a whole lot of weight. I well, you, it was it was a Bruin. Oh well, yeah, I'm sure it was. I mean, there was a lot of calories being it was uh, consumed. Yeah, consumed by yeah. I was, I was beverages. throwing throwing beers back. I used to get forties of this malt liquor called Cobra. Cobra. It was fucking dangerous. Did it have debt in there? I might have did done had it. Yeah, four locos debt. You, I almost put one of the four loco pictures in here, but I didn't. Which one? Uh, the one it's it's just the fireplace engulfing the in neighboring area. Gotcha. Yeah, that was a night. Th- that seriously was. There was also like that's one of the drunkest I've ever been, but not fun drunk. Yeah, that was like, I was scared. Yeah, because I had just fist fought Josh mm-hmm. on the dock. Mm-hmm. Uh, funny how full circle like our most dangerous drunk night <laughs> was us three. Yeah, <laughs> you and Josh. Josh, Josh yeah. call him up. Josh. Let's do it again, baby. Look at Josh in the phone. So he's here for this. Josh was on the phone uh, on the dock, and I walked over to him. I was like, yo, who are you talking to? And then he just socked me in the eye. <laughs> so I fucking tossed him. You hired him years later. <laughs> he just turned around and socked me in the face, and I was like, the fuck? So I started fighting Josh. And then after that was done, um, you threw a can, or someone threw a can into a fire, and because Frankie was super drunk, mm-hmm. he thought, I could just pull this out of the fire. Yep. Um, so he stuck his hand into a fire and pulled out a can that was probably at 8,000 degrees at that point. At least, at least 20. Yeah. And then you also threw cardboard on it, which then caused a, a fire. A bigger fire, which then, do you remember how we put out? I pissed on we it. We peed on it. I pissed on it. We yes, did. yes, 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 yes. Uh, so it was a good night. And also, Espo 
drank two Four Locos and then couldn't get out of his chair. <laughs> I think he sat there for four hours straight. He fucking loves that chair, dude. He loves that chair. He loves that. And this is pre-recall Four loco. Pre-call. Yeah, which there was like a study that came out that was like those Four Locos were the equivalent of a, their words, small mountain of cocaine. Fire. Yeah, I was like, well, all right. All right, well, now we know. One time I drank two Four Locos on a party bus that had like those like lights, like the green, yep. like the neon lights. I Dude. I thought I was like in space. Like it was just like terrifying. Like I thought I was in space. Yeah. I was no, like, you need to pull over and let me out. It's not fun. I need it's the not earth. Fun. Uh, but this was, this was around that time. Um, and uh, I don't know why I put the tea bag in there. You're just a funny guy. Funny. You're, you know, honestly, it comes full circle because you're a big tea boy now. I love tea. Yeah. Don't drink coffee. So you're a big tea boy. A big herbal tea. Right? Yeah, all kinds of tea, baby. Do you know there's a tea spot over here? Where? There's a, it's on... Um, oh, the Queen's Room? I don't know what it's called. Um, no, no, no. Um, that's on dip, No, no, no. There's one... It's a small spot, like, right here. And they sell tea? I mean, it's a tea spot. Not like... I'm saying, like... Because like, I buy, like, loose leaf. Why'd you say it like that? Loose leaf. Oh, not like loose leaf. Not loose leaf. Loose leaf. Do you buy loose leaf? I haven't wrote on loose leaf in how many, how long? Years. Eons at, at this point. At least eight. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, they got an herbal tea spot over here. Damn, I'm going to have to find How does a tea spot that. even make money? Dude, why do, you don't realize a lot of people are fucking super into tea. You want, oh, here we go. Joey's going to read about it and then get super into tea and tell me like, yo, have you ever like drank tea? <laughs> I'm going to come here and you're going to have a fucking cabinet full. No. <laughs> no. Uh, I just bought some tea the other day. Fuck. It's on its boom. way. But I'm, I think about this logically, like a tea spot, mm-hmm. right? Tea is cheap. You, how much is a tea? You it, I mean, a cup of tea could be cheap, but you can get teas in uh, expensive. No, yeah, sure. But it's like a cup of tea is like what? Like a dollar eighty? Yeah, yeah. So with the rents around here, how do you make enough money with this tea? Oh, yeah. That's a good... That's. I don't know how any business realistically survives around here. I mean, food's one thing. You could make, like, you buy a burger or something, it's like 20 fucking bucks or something. You're like, okay. And, like, it costs, like, $3 to make that. Yeah. But tea. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Around here, it's crazy. It's crazy. All right. Last one. Yes! Oh, yeah. Damn, that was a fucking good costume for you. I won, uh, full on won a costume contest for it. A bar tab, right? So there's red in my face. It's not just black. Oh, this looks bad. It does, but <laughs> didn't yeah. think about it until right now. Yeah, you're a two-face, and that was... Yeah. So that's it's that's not black. Honestly? That... <laughs> that's not black. You can see the red on my cheek. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it and... was, you were meant to look like a two-face and have like a fucked up... like. It was red. And it, you, it was like supposed to be like... It's burgundy. red and burgundy. Yeah. But what the fuck are you? So... I actually remember this night clearly because you were, first of all, my arm is just small. Just what is that? <laughs> uh, but do I, a push I, up, will you? I remember you were super psyched about your costume because you're like, oh, yo, I'm going to be two faced and like whatever. Um, and you were like, yo, let's go out to a bar. And I, at that point, had no plans. And I think this was Halloween night, like legit Halloween yes, night. Yes, it was. And I never liked going out on Halloween, Halloween night. So then I was like, oh, damn, I need a costume because you were like, it's a costume thing. Um, we might have been underage here. We definitely were underage. So that's here. probably why I needed a costume. Cause I was like, Oh, if I use a fake, we were definitely underage here. Also Davino, <laughs> that was my fake. I would use his, I would use his, uh, fucking license. So I don't know how we both got in there, but so I just had that gray wig from like YouTube videos and I put on glasses and a wife beater. And then I put on jeans and I was like, yeah. oh, I'm a... So this was, there was my favorite bar that got closed down, Dittmar Station. Love that place. Those boneless buffalo bites. Penis. Tell me they're not. They they were good. Yeah. Uh, but they had a costume contest and I went and and it was like $500. Or like $200. It was like a bar tab. Yeah, right? it was a $200 bar tab. So I went and ran up a bar tab. Yeah. And fully prayed to fucking win this cut because I was broke. Yeah. Broke times. Yeah. And uh, and I ended up winning. And I remember Keith was, drunk Keith was next to me, so he was whispering in my ear. And he Usually was, he likes to whisper into people's mouths when yeah. he's drunk. When he, and he was doing the math in real time next to me on how many shots I could buy with this $200 bar tab. He was <laughs> like, to have a guy so like for that to- so for, if a shot is $7.50, you can buy one, two, four. 20. You could buy like 12? No, did more than that. Like he was like full on <laughs> more doing than math. that. Uh, he was doing math in my ear. Uh but uh, I pulled this up cuz I was like, what the fuck is Joey dressed as? 
Yeah, I, I was just like a. I, I like said I was gonna be like a redneck or something. Yeah, and but, Davino obviously dressed as a child predator. Right, 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 right. He was Freddy Krueger. But I remember this night, man. Do you remember one time you were there and, and you ordered sliders that had a DS on it, and uh, some drunk girl comes over and she goes, "Oh, DS, that means dick sucker." No. <laughs> you remember that? No. Oh my god. Maybe no. was it not you? But yo, I remember specifically. You someone got sliders. And there was like a DS. Like I remember they did that because I had or, I had ordered sliders from them many times. Yeah, because the place is Ditmar Station. Yeah. And a girl comes over. She goes, "Oh, you got sliders, dick sucker." <laughs> and we were like, "What?" And she's like, "DS, you're a dick sucker." She knew. It wasn't mine. It wasn't mine. So she I was, knew. So I was on her side immediately. I was just like, "Yo." <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, you maybe." That place was fucking awesome. One, they didn't card. Two, we like made friends with the owners. So like they would be like, oh, I got these people free. Dr-. Like we drank a like a lot there. Yeah, and it was you know what it was. It was like a cool place because the music was never too loud, but it was loud enough that you couldn't hear everyone else. Yeah, and it was like booths, mm-hmm. so it was very comfortable to like Joe would just like have a beer. Yeah, but their TV situation wasn't great. Yeah, I remember that. Their bathroom situation was also really cool, but it was also very dangerous. Danger because it was like two flights of stairs to get there. Big time danger, baby. Yeah, yeah, it was rough. It was rough. But that's it. That was good memories, man. <laughs> You need to pull. You need to pull up some old ones for another one. I yeah, I could find some. I'll find some good ones. I'm afraid. Yeah, I'm afraid too. But uh, that's it. Yeah, these are these are great. Um, that's a video. What? Why does it say recording? Because I was recording the screen. Oh. Um, but yeah, we are. We are. Uh, it's been some. It's been some time. That was the last decade, right there. That's a, we. Yeah. I could find a, some pretty good ones. You should. But, you should. Yeah. You should. But before we go, I do need to let people know about the movie Trivia Schmodown. Let them know. Let them know, baby. You can go to youtube.com slash the schmodown. What's the movie Trivia Schmodown? Well, guess what? It's the premiere, the best, the pinnacle of movie trivia league. Competitive. It's real competitive, too, uh, in the world. And it's a lot of movie trivia and uh, flair, baby. We got storylines. We got shit we got going on. It's like a little bit of WWE in there, too, baby. And you're definitely going to want to see it because your boy, the animal Frank Alvarez, is competing. And on March 11th, I got my debut match. Yes. I got my debut match, baby, against Brother Lomas. Brother Lomas, you can't hide no more. No more keyboard warrior, Brother Lomas. You got to face me on March 11th, and I'm coming for you. Oh, my God. I'm coming for you, baby. You better bring the heat because I am. Wow. That's it. What's your socials? Oh, uh, FHalvers8085 on Twitter and on Twitch. If I'm playing video games, I mean, the Frank Alvarez on Instagram. Thanks for being patrons. We love it. Yes. Uh, you know, shout out to the patrons. Patreon.com slash the basement yard. And go follow the show at the basement yard on TikTok and on Instagram. And that is all. We will see you guys next time.